2024 Volvo X90 First Look, Swedish Electric Flagship SUV Debuts. Volvo unwraps the 2024 X90, an EV3 row SUV that goes into production next year. The 2024 Volvo X90, a high-end, three-row, electric SUV, made its global debut in Stockholm, starting a parade of future products with promises to reveal a new electric vehicle every year. Volvo has pledged to be an all-electric brand by early 2030. The EV luxury SUV will be the most advanced Volvo to date and will assume the mantle of flagship when it goes on sale in late 2023, alongside the current Volvo XC90 a three-row SUV offered with an internal combustion engine, and as a hybrid and plug-in hybrid. At launch, the EV90 will be available with dual motors for all-wheel drive, no decision yet on whether a single motor version will follow or whether it will be driven from the front or rear. The X90 will have a range of up to 300 miles on a single charge and can charge from 10 to 80% in about 30 minutes, Volvo officials say. An E2 twin motor performance version of the SUV will be powered by an 400 volt, 111 kilowatt hour battery and two permanent magnet electric motors together delivering 370 kilowatts, 496 HP and 671 LB Ford of torque. There's another twin motor AWD trim available with 402 HP and 568 lbft. The Volvo X90 is on the new Spa 2 platform with a new chassis, new take on the company's iconic Thor's hammer lighting elements, and in a bid for greater sustainability it uses 15% recycled steel and 25% recycled aluminum. 15% of the plastics or 105 pounds worth are recycled plastics and bio-based materials, as well. 2024 Volvo X90 priced under $80,000. The AWD X90 will have a starting price under $80,000. Pre-orders are being taken now and customers will be asked to configure their new vehicle in fall 2023 for delivery in early 2024. The EV comes with a new approach to ownership, consumers can choose to buy their Volvo online or by visiting a dealer, and it can be a purchase, a lease, or a subscription. It is the first Volvo to be truly defined by its software, says Volvo CEO Jim Rowan. The tech comes from NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and in-house software development for core functions including safety, infotainment, and battery management, all of which can undergo continuous upgrades with over-the-air updates. Safety is a Volvo thing. Safety is paramount for Volvo, and the X90 continues that tradition with pilot assist driver assist systems and plans for an autonomous drive mode in the future. The car is equipped with a full suite of cameras, radar, sensors, and LiDAR, making the SUV hardware ready for unsupervised driving. For now, all that equipment helps the car accelerate, brake, and steer to avoid collisions and the car can change lanes on its own when prompted. Two cameras monitor the driver's eyes to detect if the person behind the wheel is drowsy or distracted and will nudge, then warn, and then act to avoid a collision if the driver does not react in time. It is designed to stop and call for help if needed. The X90 uses LiDAR from Luminar to detect objects such as pedestrians up to 820 feet away, even when the vehicle is traveling at highway speeds and it has a 100 degree wide ability to scan the area in front of the vehicle. Mounting the LiDAR on the roof provides better visibility and protects the equipment from objects flying up from the road or damage in a collision. It is enclosed in a wide, flat, teardrop-shaped glass case. The vehicle's wipers are used to spray and wipe the LiDAR. More washers also had to be integrated to clean the vehicle's many cameras. The sleek design of the LiDAR unit was essential. The X90 has a 0.29 coefficient of drag with a rounded front and seamless sides with flush door handles and window glazings. For EVs, being aerodynamic is crucial and the exercise is tougher with SUVs where customers want a high driving position. Pop out door handles. Conventional door handles have worked for years, and some automakers that have introduced flush handles with automated mechanisms to pop out have experienced glitches. T. John Meyer, head of exterior design, says Volvo engineers have gone to great lengths to test the handles and the change is deemed worth it. 
it is part of the overall approach experience. As you walk up to the car, the X90 knows you are there and it starts with an approach sequence of illumination, the door handles pivot to pop out, they illuminate not only the door handle to grab but also the ground around the car. Meyer says the handles have undergone winter testing to make sure they can break ice and pop out. Inside the Volvo X90. There is a customizable 15-inch infotainment touchscreen with Google built-in and 5G connectivity standard. It is also compatible with Apple CarPlay. Built-in Google apps and services include Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Android Auto. The SUV will help owners find available charging stations and pay for the juice with plug and charge. The Volvo X90 will be the first Volvo car to feature Dolby Atmos, delivering immersive sound via Bowers and Wilkins audio system with 25 speakers, including ones integrated into the headrests. Mercedes also is introducing Dolby Atmos in its 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV. Dolby Atmos provides 4D 360-degree sound and requires Atmos-enabled sound files to create an experience similar to being in a movie theater. You can leave your key fob at home and rely on phone key technology to unlock the X90 with your smartphone. The feature will come standard. Charge both car and home with Volvo X90. The X90 will be offered with a bi-directional wall box and energy management system in some markets. Use the smart charging feature on the Volvo Cars app to choose the best time for convenience or cost to charge the SUV or to save energy, using the X90 car battery as an extra energy source to supply power to the home or another car during peak times when prices are higher. In the future customers might be able to sell energy back to the grid. The seven-passenger X90 will go into production in the U.S. next year at the Volvo plant in Ridgeville, South Carolina, with deliveries in 2024. Volvo will subsequently add production in China.